Hi, so I am doing cumulative frequency curves today. This is Mr. Max. So I'm going to go right into it. So basically, um, the previous video I did on cumulative frequency, if you are struggling, perhaps you should refer to that to see how we add as we go along. So we're going to take that stuff and we're going to actually represent them on a diagram. And the diagram is known as an ogive. So we are going to plot those cumulative frequency um, totals and we're going to then construct a smooth curve and it's called an ogive. Okay, so let's take directly one question here. The following tables records the times taken by a technician to repair each of 200 laptops. So the time, he took between 20 and 30 minutes to repair 24 laptops. It took him between 30 and 40, the 30 not included obviously, to repair 56 laptops. And he took, for example, between 60 and 70 minutes to repair 27 laptops. So that's what that uh, table is all about. So you're supposed to construct a cumulative frequency table. So in the exam, if you have that, you can just draw or input that values here. But obviously, you're going to go out one. You don't have to make a whole table. But I have done the table. So we have got frequency as we go along. So less than 20 is zero, okay? But remember, it's, the time is actually, the he started recording between 20 and 30 minutes. So there's nothing below 20. And then the things below 30 will be 24. And now you add 24 plus 56 to get 30. That's what he fixed below 40 minutes, all right? And then you add 80 plus 40 to get 120 to know how much the time it took him be below 50 minutes and at 120 plus 35 to get 155 155 plus 27 gives you 182 and 182 plus 18 gives you 200 you should end up with the 200 right so i just brought the table back here so they want us now to draw a cumulative frequency curve for the data so i have got my axis as you can see i labeled my y axis the number of laptops the x axis did the time taken obviously this broken line here means that part is not included because our data only starts from from 20 okay uh, and then what you also do is now you can just start plotting this ones in red okay so the first is going to be zero frequency is zero to be 20 minutes 24 now it's very important um, that you understand how the time works here all right so it took him all but 24 minutes to have or 24 laptops together less than half an hour 24. Now, it's very important that you do understand how the scales work. Now, this scale here is uh, 40 divided by 10. So, one little block there represents 4 units. Alright? So, what I will do is then I'll take 24 and I divide by 4 and I know I should get something like 6 blocks. And that is what this particular part represents. Okay, so if I was to take 155, for example, because um, 4 doesn't really go in 155, and you divide that by 4, okay, so you're going to get something like uh, 38 point, let's say 38.8, uh, 38 38.8, more or less, okay, so 38, so uh, that's 10. 20, 30, so my 35 will be here, 35, 36, 37, 38.8, so I'm going to expect some, some value somewhere right there where it's between 60, so that is basically how I'm going to plot that. All right, so make sure how your scales work. Obviously, on the x-axis, the scales um, are straightforward. The scales on the x-axis is just... Um, five blocks, 20 divided by five, so each block there also uh, represent, but remember, your intervals here is 10, so if I was to do um, the 20 here, or the 10, that is if I take this distance here, so that's 10, and divided by five, 
All right, I get two. So each little block here represents all but two minutes. Okay, so make sure that you do get the scale and you understand the scales before you start with your uh, plotting and also um, drawing your curve. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, so we're going to go for less than 40 minutes, we're going to go all the way up to 80. All right, less than 50 minutes is 120. So you see, I plot that. Less than 60 minutes is 155. It's more about there. And less than 70 or equal to 70 is about 182. And then 80 should be at 200. The curve, if you draw, if you draw that smooth curve, it should stop at a 200. It should never pass that part. Okay, so that is basically how you then draw that. So the only thing that will come is you'll probably be given answers or questions from that that you need to answer from your graph. It should always take that type of shape. This is your ogive that we are referring to. Okay, so we are supposed to estimate the percentage of laptops which required more than 60 minutes to be repaired. So 60 minutes here to more than 60 minutes. So what we need to do is we need to find that little part up there. So we need to find exactly more than 60 minutes. So we'll go to where we'll find 60 minutes and we see where it intersects and we can actually find that particular difference. Okay, suppose we can identify and read down. Okay, so once we determine that, then we take 200 minus that particular value, okay? Whatever that value will be that we are going to find. All right, so um, I believe that um, you probably have the access to the same books. If not, then uh, it's under Y equals MX plus C, um, grade 10 and 11. If not, then perhaps it will be best if you can sort of try to do this question on a graph paper and follow my scale here. So I get 154. So now I'm going to have to say 200 minus 154. That gives me 46 students. But we're looking for the percentage. So it's 46 over 200. Multiply that by 100 gives you 23% of the laptops require more than 60 minutes to be repaired. Okay, so that brings me to a second question here. So this question here says the speed at which 100 motor vehicles passing at a certain point in a busy Oshakati street is recorded. Okay, so here you have the accumulator frequency diagram or curve and the curve is drawn for you. So you just need to answer the questions that fall from the curve. Use the curve to find A, the number of vehicles that travel at a speed less than or equal to 34 kilometers an hour. So it's again time that you identify what each little square represents. On the y-axis, you have 20 divided by 10. So each little block represents two vehicles. Okay? On the x-axis, well, the, 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 the interval here is just 10. So it's 10 divided by 5. So each one also here represents 2 kilometers per hour. So that's the speed. So now you know that should not be a problem. So when you're looking for 34 kilometers an hour, all right, so when you look for 34 kilometers, it should be round about here where I'm indicating, okay? So that should be my 34, and then you draw that line, and where it meets the curve, then you read the subsequent number of motor vehicles that we are looking for, okay? So make sure that first things first, you make sure you do understand the scales, and then from there, you can actually calculate the information that is required of you. All right, so I have done it there, and I get to 22, okay, 22 vehicles. And that is the answer I'm looking for. Part B of the question, the fraction, they say use the curve to find the fraction of the total number of vehicles that travel at a speed. The speed should be greater than 59. 
kilometers. So 59 kilometers, so we're looking again like the previous question, 100 minus something here once we draw from 59 upwards where it meets the line and we find that. So I've done mine and I get to about 78. Again, remember how one little block here represents two. Okay, so that is going to be 70. 274, 76, 78. All right, so we're now going to say 100 minus 78, that gives you 22, and we are looking for the fraction. So you put then 22 over 100, and that simplifies to 11 over 50. Now, on the next video that I'm going to put up, I'm going to do the median, the quartiles, the percentiles. I'm going to explain that and uh, I'm also going to then do two more questions based on that and then the last one I'm going to give you a question or a video where I do cumulative frequency graph given the frequency from the graph so we need to um, find the median the upper and the lower quartile 60th or 50th percentile uh, questions like that okay